Hey guys, Bob Morialli from the Tuning School, and today, on today's Tech Tuesday, we're in the Borg Warner booth here at PRI, and we have found some turbos that we're going to talk about. All right, so we're here in the Borg Warner booth. I have Corel from Full Race, and the reason I'm talking to him is we were recently doing some EcoBoost R&D for our upcoming EcoBoost Ford course, and we kind of maxed out the turbo. I know it's going to happen. You've probably seen it or done it, and so we're looking. We find this beautiful turbo, and I want to know a little bit more about it because one of the things that kills me is a big turbo and big turbo lag, and I think you may have some answers for me. So tell me, how is this awesome so I don't have that problem? So we definitely have the answer for any type of turbo lag. What we wanted to create here was something that the customer could get in, install this turbo kit, and still have all the low end responsiveness yeah. that they enjoyed with the car from the get-go, but with a little bit more power. Okay. So you'll definitely see some other kits out there that opted for a larger turbo with open scroll. Yep. And when we tried that, we just didn't find the car as much fun okay. as we felt it should be. And just to clarify, this is the 2.3 Mustang EcoBoost motor. Correct. Okay. So yep. this is a bone stock 2.3 liter Mustang EcoBoost motor that you can get from any of your Ford dealerships. Mm -hmm. What we decided to do was we put our heads down, did some real hardcore R&D, and we found out a way to keep it twin scroll using an EFR 7163. Okay. So with the EFR turbos, they are already one of the fastest spooling turbos that you can get. And that's the line of the turbo, Correct. basically. So this is straight IndyCar technology that you're awesome. able to put on your street car. The nice thing about keeping it twin scroll is you're able to make great power with the 7163 mm -hmm. and still keep all of your low end response. Yeah, it's huge. So you're able to have this power from down low and carry it all the way through the power band, sure. which makes for an awesome responsive setup mm -hmm. and a really, really fun street car. So what's the size of the compressor housing on this thing? Do you know? So the size of the, so this is what you call your 7163. So this is going to be a 57 millimeter inducer turbo, okay. integrated wastegate, integrated uh, blow off valve as well. The integrated blow-off valve with this mixed flow gamma tie turbine wheel mm -hmm. definitely helps with the responsiveness of, of this turbo. Awesome. So this isn't something when you put your foot in it, you gotta wait, wait, wait. Yeah. This is something where when you put your foot in it, yeah. it comes on in the low RPMs and Power it just now. keeps pulling all the way to red line. That's exactly what you want. There's nothing exactly. worse than a laggy turbo. Exactly. It just makes Absolutely. it to where you can really get in this thing, whether you're driving it to the grocery store mm -hmm. or whether you're getting on the highway. It's gonna be a blast from the time you put your foot in it till the time you let out of it. That's exactly what we're after. I'm sure you'll see some more of those going out the door when people start really upgrading these things. Absolutely, you know, we've had a couple test pieces out there on some cars um, at SEMA. Mm -hmm. We got great results from them. Mm -hmm. So we're definitely gonna move forward with this project and really start getting it out there to customers so they can start enjoying those cars. These little two, three is gonna put the hurt on some V8s, aren't Absolutely. they? Absolutely, you know, when you couple this turbo kit with our front mount intercooler, downpipes and cat back exhaust and mm -hmm. intake, you've got something that's really powerful that can kind of yeah. surprise a lot of those coyotes I'd imagine. out there. Yep. I've seen a lot of these stock with some good tuning running 13s, low 13s, 12s. Absolutely. I mean, heck, this, this could be big for them. Absolutely. Out of this car with this kit, we got a really, really responsive 450 wheel horsepower with 440 foot pounds of torque. That's awesome. And it was just a From a four-cylinder. Exactly. That is From the opposite of a Honda. Exactly. 450 horsepower and 40 foot pounds would be normal. Exactly. And no. this is out of a stock motor stock fuel system. Things have come a long way. Absolutely. Wow. Thanks for talking with us, man. Definitely.